Hey guys, welcome to another Guild War, and today we have Who Cares? Um, let's start, we've already won, so we can hit pretty much anyone we want. So let's start with Tower 1. Okay. Um, I think I can just do the Fieldmaster team against his Fieldmaster team. And the first team. You can pretty much just like outlast him, right? So let's do that. Let's put that in and this, right? So I have buff removal for the Orion's debuffs. Um, or I, just, I just need to remove the armor break basically, and I've got two healers to keep me up. He has no sustain, so you know, as long as I bring sustain, I should win because he's he doesn't have burst damage either, right? They're all like they're all like sort of mid-range damage, which I don't think is particularly good for defense. If you're gonna go for that sort of route, so I think we'll be fine with that. Okay, we're just gonna kill the Monkey King first because he's got the annoying passive. Not even landing any debuffs on them though. I will say that he has a lot of stuns though, which are uh, quite. it can be quite annoying. I guess I could also have brought Konomiya for this. He could have tanked the uh, Monkey King and cleansed all these stuns and stuff as well. But I think Garamos is a little bit safer because he can actually do you know decent damage as well. And I've got. AOE stun and dots. I'm not even bothering using Trick of Fire because I don't really need a heal block anyway on Okuma. So I just, just put dots on them. I think it's better. Obviously, if you're gonna fight something like this and you don't have a Kuma, you could probably bring maybe a Cabela or something, even economy, anything with sustain would, would be nice. Alright, so now we can just order the Orion who's by himself. Better's attack that's very close. Hopefully he doesn't move in between. Okay, good. We can reset at least. Alright, oh. Okay, that's fine. I prefer that over her using the Serenity buff, because that's quite annoying. I will just kill the Reviver. Oh, that's a very good resistance though. Not that, not that my fuel mass has particularly good accuracy. Jeez, kind of an armor break. It's not a concern, just takes longer. Oh my god. Wow, he's resisting everything. Must be a max resist one. Which I think at the moment is you know, good for the meta. A lot of people are sort of moving more towards high resist stuff, you know, just to be annoying on Guild Wars defense and stuff like that. 
Oh my god, even this fuel mars resisted. That's not good. Took very long to kill. Uh, to kill the better, I mean. Okay, fin finally I got the defense break. Oh, not getting any violent though. Alright, finally. We'll move on to the next guy. Uh, let's, oops. let's check out what's going on on the plus twos. Uh, just thinking who I want to hit. Never seen a Beretta on defense. But typically, Beretta is not good on defense. Um, I think I just do that, and the second team I just do the same. And you, and the reason why Beretta is not very good on defense is he doesn't really, he doesn't really do, do anything. Quite simply, so uh, if I just take out the Veramos here, he's still not gonna have like much damage, right? He's got dots, but you know whatever. It takes too much time to kill anything with dots. He didn't even, <laughs> he didn't even Phoenix turn one. I'm surprised he's. Normally his AI is a lot better than that, when I order with him on TOA. So I can, just, I can pretty much just ignore him, even though I'm, I mean I'm triple water, but even if I didn't have triple water, you can pretty much just ignore him, because two dots is not going to kill you, you know, when Guild Wars typically, typically doesn't take very long. I mean if you're going to use Beretta, at least probably use him as the leader for the speed lead. Otherwise, he serves no real purpose on a defense team. Let's try a slow and defense break. Oh, damn it. Just delaying the inevitable. Oops, I should have triple crushed, my bad. I, I, didn't, I wasn't actually expecting him to violent proc. I was just spamming left click. Whoa. I'm not using a mouse, but you know what I mean. Okay, let's uh, have a look. Ooh, this is an opportunity t for me to try something. Um, I think I can play around with a couple of new units that I'm using on my defense. I've I recently just synced them to move the way I want them to move. Hopefully I don't get owned by the Orion, but yeah, we'll see. And uh, first team, actually I can just, I can run my Guild Wars defense teams against these two teams, I think. Honestly, I don't know how, how they're going to fare, because I'm not bringing Tessarian for the Camilla. Um, but I think it's okay. See, there is a problem with his defense here. He's 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 got a armor breakout, right, which is fire. But the problem with with that is if I bring a wind unit to tank the Tsarian and eat the armor break, 
Camilla's never going to attack the win unit, right? Because of elemental disadvantage. So that's I think that's a very poor choice in Armor Breaker for for the Camilla. Um, well, actually, even if yeah, other of the win units, if, if the sign armor breaks, the Camilla won't go for him. He, she'll always go for the Kuma. So I think it's okay to try this. And the reason why I'm going to bring this, because this team has a lot of sustain. So I've got Jasun, it's got Camilla uh, with you know, her passive. Um, and my team though has double destroy, which I wanted to try out. Right, I think it's a lot better than it seems, so I want to I want to give it a go. Just want to do as much damage as I can, and just keep whittling them down. I have a lot of sustain, so I'm, I think I shouldn't be too worried. You can see there that there's like the destroy bar. Destroy bar is already working on the just soon, right? Because she heals a lot with Fallen Blossoms. And I think, you know, if you just keep working on destroy on her, eventually she won't be able to. Like, she'll get to a point where she can't keep up anymore. It's actually a bit annoying that the Tessaran is going for my Monkey King. Because he's putting the Oblivion on, on him as well. Wow, of course she violence to amuse. Holy shit, how many turns is he getting? Oh, okay. I, I didn't expect him to her to die already. Um, let's just go with the Tessarian then. And one good thing with the monkey on destroy. Like one of the most annoying things with Camilla is she keeps healing herself, right? But if you keep destroying her HP, I mean she can't keep it up, and it, it also reduces the effectiveness effectiveness of uh, the heals, right? Because her, her total HP is getting lower. Actually, this Camilla is quite squishy. Let's just keep poking her with destroy. Jesus. Every time she's just getting in so many turns. But thankfully she's not doing like a super amount of damage. Which I can just order the Tessarian. Okay. Okay, he, he kind of derped, so let's uh, armor break. Actually, I don't know who. I won't take out the Veramos. Hopefully. Oh, good violent proc. Oh, damn, he cut in. Oh, okay, that's actually good. So I can now research my field mars. He can attack again. And Rakuni cleanses himself, right? And now I can do another attack. So that's sort of like the kind of the plan I had for the team was to make just to make field mars attack at least three times on turn one, right? Um, it's very hard to sync it though because economy is base speed is really bad, um, and uh, basically I had to put economy and Rakuni far enough apart so that field mice can move uh, after the research and then you know so that Rakuni doesn't move uh, also doesn't uh, yeah move before the researched field mice moves because uh, I was trying out before when the speed wasn't quite up to scratch and 
and yeah, he was he was basically researching my Konamiya instead of uh, moving after the field mass, right? So I had to change it up. Um, all right, so world boss is dead. So let's just clear, like, just do full clears of the wings. I don't, I know I have rivals there, but that's fine. I'm actually quite low, so um, I don't know how interesting it's gonna be for this recording. But I'll just do some of the wings. I'll just I'll just finish off this list that I have. Actually, that's it was very fortunate I brought Lucian's for this. There's a lot of will on this team. I'll do like in the future. I'll try to climb up before I do arena. If I if I add it to a, a video, I just didn't have time to prepare it today. Uh, I'll just, I'll just double lucian this. There is a Kuma there, but um, hopefully I can still just deal with him. If by himself, it's it's not so bad. I, I'm only really scared of Kuma when he's with another fire, a tanky tanky fire, you know. Or like a really tanky, say, um, like retesh or something. But it is still risky, I'll say, because it depends on whether he does um, trick of fire and crits my my seek and kills him immediately. Oh, speed team! So I have to match him with a speed team. And whoever's Bernard goes first will win. I should, well, should win. Oh, I won't jinx it. Oh, he's Samar not on Will, which is, uh, I think, not, not particularly. Uh, it's not a good idea because then, I mean, not everyone's gonna have a Samar, but there are a lot more people with Zyros, right? And if Zyros resets him, he he doesn't he sort of defeats the purpose of having Samarf on AD because he'll um, he'll die without actually reviving and do, doing his you know um, AOE revenge thing. So if you're gonna put Samarf on AD, definitely give him put him will or put him on will. And uh, I don't know if if. For people who watched my Lucian videos, you will know that Wadam does not stop Lucians, uh, at least not on his own. Um, and especially because this team has absolutely no fire units. So they just get wiped by double Lucian. Uh, okay, this will be risky uh, because I don't know how tanky the Camilla is. If the tank, if the Camilla is like 30k HP, um, I probably won't be able to kill it. But in typically, Velajul does not scare double illusions because a lot of people build it on defense, and if it's on defense, then as long as I get some ignores, he'll die. But looks like I mean, he's a little bit tankier. Or a little bit on the tankier side with HP. Maybe it's like a hybrid, which is good. I personally, if I if I'm gonna put a Velajul on defense, I would probably give him HP instead of defense, unless he has a high crit rate. Because there's no point giving him defense if he's not gonna crit, right? You, you can prove his damage, but it doesn't matter if he doesn't crit. Uh, this one, I'm gonna bring this team. Ah, damn, he's Phil Master's on Will. I could have just double Lucian it, I guess, but doesn't matter. Um, I'll try to remove the Will rune, maybe. Okay. Uh, hopefully, this kills the Juno. Oh, damn, it's not nowhere near enough. I'm in trouble, actually. Is she gonna do that? Push back. 
Okay, overwhelm hopefully it kills the field Mars. Did not work. Okay, that's fine. I return and kill. And we'll, now we take out the Veromos. He's the remain like the last remaining threat. Okay, it should be fine from here. YOLO this, right? I don't know whether his Bernard's going to be fast enough with speed lead to out outspeed mine. It's a bit of a risk, but I think I can... I want to try. Uh, he did outspeed me, but will I cut in? Yes, I do. So he's... basically he's... he's um, Sierra and Field Mars are not fast enough to keep up with his, with his Bernard. So that means if I have a Bernard on my team that is slightly slower than his, then I'll, I'll cut in, right? That's why, and that's why it's very important to speed through your, your units. You know, if, if your Bernard is very fast, the rest of your units have to be within 75% or preferably about 75% of his speed to make sure that they move straight after. Okay, I'm just going to do a couple more wings. More wings. Let's just... Oh, oh this, I have a guildie here. Let's kill the guildie. Oh. It's a bit of a shame. But let's just kill him anyway. And I'll hit the, the guy at the top of the list. And then I'm going to leave like, the rest of the wings to do rivals afterwards. I'm not going to bother recording it. There's no point. Actually, this probably wasn't a fair fight. My bad. Oh, it definitely was. Definitely wasn't a fair fight. I probably should have tried something a bit more fair. But oh well. All right. Oh, actually, this guy. I think he. I usually see him in uh, Guardian. Um, I do. Actually, I don't remember what I used for him. We'll see. I, f I have a feeling he's got a couple of little runes from memory. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good for him. Uh, I'm going to try to weaken the chest soon. Oh, I crit. That's surprising. All right, now we will take out the two win guys and just hopefully, hopefully, I survive this. All right. Damn it. Push back and let's try to remove the buff. Oh my god, didn't work. Doesn't matter. We still win. All right. Thanks guys for watching. Uh, I'll, I'll do some more like arena-based uh, content in the future as well. Um, just so there's a bit more variety on on the stuff that I show. So thanks guys for watching, I hope I see you guys in the next video. Bye bye, have a good one.